Hello YouTube, this is an alcohol review of Cask and Crew Walnut Toffee Whiskey. According to the label, 51% three-year-old Canadian rye, 49% aged American corn, and that's it. All done up in a 750ml bottle. Crafted by Megan MK, whoever that is. Crew selected small batch, no artificial flavors. Comes out of Rochester, New York, gasmetrue.com. 35% alcohol by volume. Blended rye whiskey infused with natural flavors. Bitter walnut and golden toffee. And that's that. Hmm. Well, gonna give this a try. Wooden cork, at least wooden top on a cork. It's a nice band on it, but plastic. There we are. Put the cork back on so the critters don't knock it over. Oh, a little close there. All right, it is a beautiful golden brown. Hopefully you guys can see that, but it's a real nice golden brown. There's no real tearing up. None at all, well, there is some. Tears up quickly when you can find it. Now, what is meant by that? The uh, viscosity of the fluid is thicker when there's more sugars still left in solution. Uh, what does that mean? It's sweeter. There's more sugar still in this that should have been, or it could have been um, fermented out in the early stages of its creation. Or, uh, or sugars could have been added in later. That often comes in on, on the backside when they say it's a beer or wine. I'm not sure about distilled solutions, but uh, definitely beer, wines, meads, oftentimes will add sugar to help take the sharpness off and refine the flavor out. By doing that, you get a thicker solution, much like a syrup is thicker than, say, water. Water, you almost get no tearing up. Tearing up is so when you swirl it, you see it on the edge, and then it just starts to run back down. It's what they call tears or legs. The faster those form, the more rapid there are, the longer they are, the less thickness, less sugar there is in solution. So you can visibly see this is going to, because it's so quick with everything, uh, it's not going to be very sweet. So it's just, just a visual way to determine what something might, might taste like. It has a nice nose to it. That toffee comes out. And the walnut likes to fight with the toffee. The poor whiskey is settled in the back. Now, this is Canadian rye. I myself am not a fan of rye whiskey. To me, you get whiskey with black pepper in it. And I'm not a fan of black pepper. And for some of you in the background, what kind of pepper? I like a cayenne. A nice chai. A nice... Yeah, something like that. A white pepper's nice. Black pepper, not a fan. And rye tastes like whiskey with black pepper. Now, you get hints of the whiskey in the background. But mostly it's that toffee, walnut, fighting it out for your attention. Not bad. Not bad at all. The toffee's nice. The walnut gets punched pretty hard by the, uh, the toffee. But it leaves this mark on the toffee as well. There is no full dominance of either one. 
and they kind of roll around together like you'd expect. Unfortunately, it leaves the whiskey high and dry in the background. I'm wondering what it's doing there and whether or not it should choose better friends. And because it's a rye, sitting in the back, way in the back, comes the black pepper. And this is a Canadian rye. I'm one of the reasons why I'm not a fan of rye is A, the black pepper, and B, in the States, there's only one company who makes rye whiskey. Rye bourbons, I should say. Only one. And when you go to your local uh, state store, back in the day when they were called state stores, your local liquor store or liquor department, you'll see all these kinds of rye. And, oh, this was made great great granddad's recipe. And, oh, all these other different tall tales. Making it sound like they made it. They, that company did not. Pendleton Rye is not made by Pendleton. It's, uh... Well, whoever makes Pendleton, but either way, Pendleton rye is the same rye you will find in, say, any other rye on the shelf that's an American rye. Because it all comes out of one company. How is this possible? How do they do this? It's simple. They get the rye from this one company, this one solitary batch, and then tweak it. A little more food color, a little less food color, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Hooray, it's our own great. I don't know if that's done in Canada. I'm hoping that when they say it's Canadian rye by such and such company, it's made by that company, not bought in a large central batch like in the United States. And because of that, that's the number two reason why I don't like rye in the United States. Now, lecture over on my prejudices towards rye but this it leaves a this will leave a bit of a bitterness in the back and it is as the label says here bitter walnut and golden toffee that bitter walnut competes a little bit with that black pepper from the rye so it depends on whether which on the back of your palate is, is winning the bitter walnut which is finally crawled out from underneath the toffee or whether it's that black pepper. It's nice. I mean, it is heavy, long hang time, and nice. Um, just bitter, bitter, bitter on the end. And not, not a negative bitter, just because it's bitter on the end. So, um, would I put this in a cocktail? I don't think so. It's, there's so much going on that um, any kind of cola added to it or juice or anything that would make a, uh, a cocktail, I think, um, would, would ruin the experience of this uh, particular bourbon, whiskey. Yeah, whiskey. Uh, by itself, it's a little heavy, and I like dark coffees. I like dark wines. I, I love good, strong flavors. A nice rich chocolate. I like those deep flavors. And this is not quite turning me off from those flavors, but it is definitely not exactly finding a, uh, a nice comfy chair in my wheelhouse. With an ice cube, take some of those sharp edges off of the bitterness. It may work out fine. This is definitely a, um, a sipper when it comes to the wintertime. Because this is way too heavy uh, flavor profile to have in the summertime. Summer is just, you want something light and non-offensive. This thing, you know, is just way too much character, way too much bodied to, to uh, be drank in, in, in the summer. I stammer now. But yeah, maybe with a with an ice cube, take some of the edges off, curve some of that uh, that bitter 
and that sharpness of black pepper. Wouldn't be too bad. Give it a try. See what you guys think. This is Cask and Crew Walnut Toffee. There you are. Any comments about this particular product down below will be warmly accepted, as always. Or better yet, go out, buy it, try it yourself. And do a review of Cask and Crew's Walnut Toffee. And let the rest of us on the YouTube Spirits community know your thoughts. Until next time, keep on drinking. <laughs>